All right, great. So now here we have a selection of what we would call very short range or hand to hand combat. Now, ever since the incident, I'm not allowed to have chainsaws in the house anymore. So we're using my daughter's toy one to used for show right now. So right there, you know, you can wield a chainsaw. Yes, you got to make sure you got gas around or if it's battery operated, you keep it charged. And we've got a nice healthy array of hand-to-hand -hand combat weapons. We'll go through each here in a second. So on top of your chainsaw, you've got an assortment of knives here. Now, you can strap these to a pole with uh, paracord, which uh, you can go ahead and watch our uh, introduction to paracord video, and it will uh, give you an idea of some of the different ways you can lash knives to uh, a stick or a broom handle or something like that to use as a weapon. Now, so here we've got some nice ones. All will do very well in the event of the zombie apocalypse. So there you got kind of your standard Bowie knife. Love this thing. Love the shine on it. And you've got some of your hunting knives. Now also included in this you could use swords, baseball bats, anything that you can wield with your hand that isn't a projectile, you know, so just anything like that, that uh, basically for the most part blunt objects, blades, sledgehammers, stuff like that. Those are all weapons in, uh, when it comes to a zombie outbreak. Anything that'll bash their damn heads in, that's what we're looking for. Uh, now, again, back to the chainsaw. Doesn't really matter what color the chainsaw is. Zombie brains and zombie guts all splatter the same. Doesn't matter what color the tool is. There we go. Here's this one I like. This is a nice little set. So it's got two hunting knives on this side. Some nice little knives there. The beauty with this is on the other side. You got yourself a nice folding saw. I guess it would work easier if I push the button. There we go. So there's our saw. It folds out into a full hand saw. Then we get into some of our fancier ones. We'll start over here with this guy. I love this one. Look at that. Show you here. It's got a little thing you can stick it on your belt. See that there? And do a quick flip there. 
Try not to stab myself. Like that. There we go. Then you put your hands in there. You do good for stabbing zombies in the side of the neck. You got them right there. Eyeballs. You name it. This is the kind of stuff I get for Father's Day from my my little girl and for my birthday and stuff from my little girl, my wife. This is, uh, I've got this weird infatuation with blades. So I guess uh, I'm preparing for the zombie apocalypse subconsciously. We got these, a nice little throwing knife set. Those guys will do some damage. Love them. That. So yeah, see there. And if I had the dexterity, I could put one on each, and you'd have a triple claw going on. I love those. Okay, and then moving on. Next we got these guys. That'll cut a few zombie heads. Slash open their bellies right across there. Definitely definitely not for playing with. These guys are sharp. Again, among some of the stuff that I would consider, you know. Best present ever. These things are real sweet. So there we go. This gives you an idea of anything that would be considered hand-to-hand -hand or very short-range combat with the zombies. All right. Now let's move on to uh, our next grouping of weapons. Okay, and now, through a little movie magic, we have our setup going for what I would call, uh, I guess, short to medium range projectile type combat. These weapons are something that you would use with uh, some sort of ammunition, whether it be arrows, or some sort of uh, firearm ammunition. So here we have, we've got my daughter's bow. Those are always nice because you can always retrieve your, your ammunition. Nice little setup I got going for her there. And we've got, back up a bit here, we've got there's your arrows for them. And then we've got one of my bows. This one's a little older, seen better days. And then we've got some stopping power here. There we go, we've got that guy right there. Remember, ammunition in this world will be limited, so you want to make sure you hit them and you hit them in the right spot. So right between the eyes, blow their brains out, something, get that head off them, and uh, try not to waste too many shots doing it. And we got this fella here, I love this guy. This guy right here. Oh, oh, the flashlight's not snugged in. Let's see, I'll try to do it without actually aiming it at you. So you've got your laser dot sight on the front. And you've got your flashlight for some nighttime scene. I love that guy. Walter Nighthawk. Alright. 
So there's a couple examples. If you just give me one second here, I will be right back with uh, another example. Okay, and just like that, thanks to another little quick bit of magic, I was running out of room on the table, so I had to do a quick cut and go there. But there's our uh, there's our other one. We love that one. Hey guys, that'll uh, that'll take care of some zombie scum, huh? Yeah. It's hard to lock in there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright guys, put that out, there we go, so there's part of my arsenal for the coming zombie invasion, I'm going to get into some of the long range higher power stuff right away here, but I'll just I love showing you guys this. Um, I'm redneck through and through here, so love me some weapons. Now, just in case you missed the disclaimer at the beginning of this video, these are all replicas, guys. I'm not quite that. I guess depends on who you ask. But, personally, I don't think I am nuts enough to keep this stuff just kicking around my house. So, that being said, they are some very nice replicas. Like you can see there, that one does have the Crossman logo on it. So, But yeah, these, uh, in a real life situation, this is the type of stuff that you're going to want to get yourself. This is going to be good against big hordes that are coming at you. At least slow them down so you've got time to escape. The stopping power of these guys will definitely take some one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two zombies down, you know. And we've got this guy here for a little bit more accurate nighttime uh, supply runs. That's definitely something you're going to want to keep with you. That red dot will... Uh, the flashlight will light them up for you, and the red dot will tell you exactly where you're getting them. And as long as you got it sighted in. But I recommend doing that at your home base. Pro tip. Alright guys, we're going to cut away for a second again, and we'll be right back. And I'm going to show you some of the examples of, uh, of some of the longer range stuff. Now, I don't have any of the really cool ones. I don't even have replicas of anything like rocket launchers, but if you're out there and you get your hands on a rocket launcher in a zombie apocalypse, ha, oh, dude, right on. Blow you up a nice horde of zombies, you're just walking, oh, I think I'm getting a little too excited about that. Moving on, shall we? Okay, guys, we're back. Quick cutaway again, all done and over with. Now, I got my daughter's baby here, and I got two of mine here. These guys are your longer range options. As you can sit at the top of your perch on your home base wall, and you can peg zombies off way before they even get close to you. This is the type that'll splatter Zombie brains at a hundred yards easy. Okay, I I don't have anything higher power than these, but they'll do the trick for me to get me started. When that zombie apocalypse hits. Now, again, I'm gonna state this is just for fun, guys. But if the zombie apocalypse hits, in theory. These guys will help me secure the bigger guys. Now, that doesn't mean you should go out and rob somebody. 
I'm just saying. It's a zombie apocalypse. It's all hypothetical. Okay? So, regardless, even if this is all you've got, this is a damn good start. You are safe. As long as you've got some ammo stored up, you're good to go for a bit. Okay? Now, these guys will take them out. And, uh, for the most part, even the sound that they create, you're not going to have to worry too much about the ones that hear it. Because unless you get them freaky, weird zombies that, you know, are like Usain Bolt or something like that and have this inane ability to sprint, most zombies, you've got these covered. So, let's take a look here. So there's my, my pretties right there. Oh yeah. So here we go. So you gotta gotta have that scope. This is uh, I believe that one's a three by nine, and this one over here that's a that's a four eleven, and this one's just iron sight. But uh, another one I don't have with me here is uh, shotgun. You're definitely going to want to find you a nice shotgun. You're going to want an assortment of slug and shot for those because they all come in handy for different things. Now, this guy right here, I love this. It's a little bolt action. That guy right there. Again, these are replicas. These ones are just air rifles, but should the case arise, this is the type of, you'd want to get yourself the real versions of these. Look at that guy there. I love that long barrel. That's, that'll have a good distance on it with that one. All right, so this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying long range, longer range weapons, okay guys? So, your long range weapons are going to include stuff like your rifles, shotguns, I guess some of the higher powered uh, automatic weapons, you know, uh, your assault rifles, stuff like that. Uh, you're going to want to go into sniper rifles, rocket launchers, like I said earlier, got to have some rocket launchers. If you can get your hands on one, power to you, man. I want to be on your team because... Rocket launchers, oh, zombie guts everywhere. <laughs> am I right or am I right? I know I'm right. Okay, now I'm getting carried away again here. But getting back to it, there's nothing wrong with when you run out of stuff like this or they happen to start getting too close or you're not carrying your, your main weapon with you. Going back to those knives and stuff that I showed you guys, That'll do some serious damage too. Just be sure to train with them. You gotta train. You gotta be vigilant, man. This goes back to that laziness thing in the rules that I was saying. You know, don't be lazy. Don't get complacent. Cause man, I'm I'm all injured up and stuff with my back and whatnot, but zombie apocalypse comes, man. It's my family or them zombies. And it ain't gonna be my family, I tell you. I will go through hell and back on my body to make sure that they're safe in a zombie apocalypse, okay? So those knives are gonna come to good use. One way or another, they're gonna protect us. Same with these guys. So, now, we've got some rules covered and everything. We're gonna do another quick cut and uh, we're gonna show you guys what uh, what you guys should have in your uh, kit, I suppose you want to call it. Your uh, your basic gear bag. Kind of the stuff you want to start looking for, you know. So I'll go over a list of stuff that you're going to want to get with you, get together. Get uh, If it's just you, you might want to hook up with some other people or something. Make the job share a little easier, you know. Just, again, back to the rules. Friends and foes, you want to make sure... Why all of a sudden do I feel like I sound like Jack Nicholson? What the? I don't know. The mood's just hitting me, I guess. 
I just I'm getting this vision of blowing zombie heads off and I'm just getting all all romantical about the whole thing I guess you know but you tear to my eye man oh okay there it is no it was just dust all right allergies back to the supplies allergy pills eh? you don't need to be tearing up while you're looking down the scope of one of these fellas whether it's life or death shoot that zombie in the face you know all right let's cut away we'll get to uh we'll get into some of the supplies that you need to carry with you some essentials if you will be right back all right guys welcome back how would you enjoy that a little bit there yeah it was nice eh uh rocket launchers god i gotta get into one of those yeah all right so i got my little bag of tricks over here this is kind of some of the stuff that i would pack with me to start with so let's get into it shall we so this guy right here a little later on we're going to do uh probably next month in november we're going to do a video on these guys but i recommend picking one up it's a lot you can find them on aliexpress uh amazon just about anywhere online shopping uh check out surviveanything.ca we will be uh, having them soon so i definitely recommend uh you guys keep an eye out for those on our site so get one of them you won't regret having that around tactical bacon yeah boy all you need to do is have either can opener or multi-tool with you I, de I definitely recommend having the multi-tool anyways because it's something you're gonna want to leave the house with comes in handy for so many things if you got one that's got a can opener on it Bacon in a can, man. Trust me, I've had one of these. Ooh, good. It's like that stuff you see in the store, but like 10 times better. I can't cook it this good. This stuff is amazing. So, tactical bacon. You're going to want to have some of that. Duct tape. I don't need to get into all the different uses that duct tape has. Okay? Now... For some of you twisted mind folk out there, no, you're right. It's got those uses too. Now, somebody's attacking you. You're not the murdering type. The least you can do is duct tape them when you win the fight and give yourself a bit of a head start. I don't know if duct taping zombies would do much good, but, and let's face it, best stuff in the world to have around. I should probably have more than this on hand. Duct tape for the stuff that moves and shouldn't. And then you got to keep around WD-40 for the stuff that doesn't move but should. Okay? Duct tape, WD-40. Paracord. We did a series on it. Intro to Paracord, part one and two. I definitely recommend you look it up. Again, something you can get on surviveanything.ca. Comes in all sorts of varieties. You can pick your favorite color. Pick it to match your outfit for the day. Whatever. Amazing stuff. Million and one uses. And in the zombie apocalypse is no different. You got one of your knives that's also in my bag here. You can fashion yourself a spear. You can get a couple zombies right in the throat before they get within arm's reach of you. Hell, you can hang your dirty laundry out. So, you know, maybe your family isn't going to feed you to the zombies because you smell like one of them. Okay. Paracord. Got to have it. Emergency supplies. Emergency poncho. Emergency blanket. One of those foil blankets. Emergency tent. All easy to pack. You know, a little, duff, a little duffel bag. And so, so handy to have. You got yourself an emergency tent. You can set up shop for the night. You know, just kind of have to... That's something you'll want to do if you're in a group of people. So you can have one person stay awake. Just to watch for zombies and stuff. Poncho. Comes in handy when you're blasting zombies' brains out. You won't have to hang your stuff out on the line as soon. If you got an emergency throwaway poncho. Okay, 
Got all sorts of little emergency stuff like that. Easy to pack, easy to carry. Could stop you from getting sick. Hey, right, buddy. Yeah, you're busy licking your own butt. Okay. Knives. Been there. Showed you guys what I got. I'm probably bringing them all. I love knives. Binoculars. If you don't have a scope, at least with these guys, you got to hope. Okay? You'll be able to see those zombies coming. Got to have them. I mean, you don't have to, but I'm going to bring a pair with me. Because once I get myself a little, little base of operations set up, I'm going to want to be able to see off in the distance. Not just for zombies, but friends and foes as well. You know, somebody that I know, that I care about, that I know isn't going to stab me in the back with my own knives. I'm going to want to let them in. If I don't know they're coming, I can't let them in. They could get eaten. At least I can pull out my gun then and give them a bit of a break. Hopefully they don't break anything on the way to your shelter. But if they do, well, the zombies are busy for a little bit. Magic flames. Remember I said amuse yourself? If you're having a fire, why not, man? I love all the funky little colors that come out of these things. Yeah, I'm just a big kid who loves guns and knives. Used it in the ghost hunting vid. Use it in this too. Spotlight, man. You can also get yourself, I've got some around here somewhere. I bring these with me too. Headlamps. Man, they're nice. LED headlamps, they last forever, don't take much battery power. But man, they'll come in handy in a zombie apocalypse. If you're wandering around in the dark, at least you'll be able to see them before they see you. Uh, I guess no, they'll see the light anyways, but at least you'll be aware of their presence. Uh, what else we got here? Well, knives, knives, knives. Oh, that one, yeah, that one comes with a saw. That's for firewood. More knives, ammunition. So yeah, little basic setup. Again, I guess go back and uh, check our blog for stuff you're going to want to include uh, for basic survival, because uh, that'll include a lot of the stuff that you're gonna you're gonna have to bring with you. But uh, yeah, so you're, you're going to want your first aid stuff to uh, purify your water. You're going to want your, your rope, knives, weapons. Uh, I recommend putting, if you got one, have your pistol in your bag. You're going to want lights, visual stuff. You're going to want your tape, fixed stuff at the very least. Some sort of small toolkit or something you're going to want to go out and get yourself. Okay? So now... With this list, I think I pretty much covered everything. At least now, you're a little better prepared when this inevitable zombie apocalypse... Oh my, jeez. This inevitable zombie apocalypse happens. There we go, second time's a charm. You'll be a little better prepared. At least you'll know the basics of what you need to get out there. Now, depending on your area where you live, it could all be different. But the basics are going to remain the same. Friends, not enemies. Survival, survival. More friends. You're going to want light, food, shelter. Keep it real, man. That's all you got to do. You just got to know in your heart what you need. And a little bit of extra tips from us will get you there just fine. Safe and sound with your loved ones. Well, most of them anyways. The ones that don't take you off and you ended up feeding to the zombies, you know, 10 days ago or yesterday or an hour ago. After you saw this video and you're like, ah, that guy's going to stab me in the back. 
That's why he's been looking at my knives. Yeah, he's toast. If you didn't feed him to the zombies, you know, they could always use him for dog food. Can I say that on here? Do you guys eat person? I won't feed you zombies because then I don't, I don't want to. These are my boys. I don't want them turning into zombie dogs. All right, guys. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in again. Hope you had a little bit of fun with us. And uh, make sure you stay tuned. Coming up, we got Halloween coming, so we got one more video to share with you guys after this one. Uh, my daughter's going to join me again for that one. How to survive an alien invasion. This should be good. Uh... We're a twisted bunch, so I'm sure we can, uh, I'm sure we've got something good for you. Okay? Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for uh, tuning in again. And uh, be sure to check out surviveanything.ca. Uh, us over at uh, Survive Anything Canada love to uh, at least have you swing on by and check out the site. Oh, God, it just went dark. And so it begins. Good night, everybody. Cheers. Mm -hmm.